Hi, welcome to Team Woolly Sheep Reviews. Bit of a deviation for what my next video was planned to be. Uh, I've got a friend of mine who's been uh, wanting to build his own quad. I've done a few for him. So he's quite keen to have a go. However, he's hit a bit of a stumbling block. So I thought ideal time to make a video. <laughs> right, so you get your camera, you got your FPV. But what do you do? So it comes with a little box with all the goodies in. So you pull it out and you're thinking, oh my God, all these wires. What are all these wires? What are all these wires? Oh. Right. That you can put in a box. That's for making adjustments and settings. You left with these. On the camera, this is a bit more advanced than a normal camera. Normally you've got a little three pin plug. You've got this type of setup. So you'd have these two leads. Right, this is conventional. You'd buy your VTX. This is a, a switcher. And it comes with the lead. And as you can see, that is quite obviously the power lead. And there you have your camera lead. Now this VTX, if you read on the on the, the, the surface there, that it's got a five volt camera output. So that camera is gotta be five volts. Is this camera five volts? If you look on the specification on the end of the box, this camera is five to 36 volts. So you can run it on a five volt. So you can plug that into there. However, they don't give you anything to plug it in. So is it usable to the average person? No, because now you're in a situation where you have to modify these leads to be able to plug into this. It doesn't come with a compatible lead. So what do you do? Well, first of all, this little blue one is for the adjustments. So that just plugs into the camera and does nothing more than it allows you to plug in this little black thing with the buttons on. So on this lead here, is a, a plug to go in the back of the camera. Right, on the back of the camera, it's got a wiring, um, what each pin is. It's got the pin out configuration. The main wires that you want are the red, black, and yellow. They do come with the red, black, and yellow, which you can actually plug that in to that three. So let's do that. Let's unplug it. And a bit of advice, don't keep plugging and unplugging because you keep plugging and unplugging you'll find the plugs will come so loose they'll just fall out so now th this camera just for for demonstration i'm plugging that in there and this and i've made sure that the pin convention is positive on the outside edge the next is ground so there's your supply for the camera and then you have the yellow which is the video wire so we're not using audio because that would be the next connection. So there are leads you can you can buy like this and they come ready made up and you can have the plugs, these these type plugs or the your servo plugs already put on them. But what I like to do is put my own plugs on there. So I've got one of these and I've got a set of servo plugs. So that's because I like to make my own plugs. Is you can do two things. If you haven't got the ability to make them up, there is another way around. And what you can do is you can take a servo plug. Yeah. Right, so what you can do is use a servo plug, like so. Ah, looks, be careful, because the red is on the outside edge. Red is on the outside edge. So you need to, to pull these pins wires out to match that wiring convention, otherwise you're gonna get yourself in trouble. What you can do, you can cut the plug off there and solder that onto there. So that you end up with a lead like so. That plugs into your camera. This plugs into the, the switcher, the VTX, the video transmitter. If you've done your, your power distribution board, like so, you should always allow a 12 volt out for your FPV. You don't need to do any more than that. If you notice, I got five volt, 
that's going to go into my knees board and I have a 12 volt output there I've also got a, a, a V bat connection there that, well, that was actually giving me the incoming battery voltage how because I've soldered it is that's going to there but anyway so I got 12 volts when I come to do my FPV that's all I do is plug that in and then I got power to the, the video transmitter so what I'm doing then is I'm using the lead that I've made up I'm plugging it in into there and that into the camera and that should should be it now before you start stressing you would be soldering these and making sure that the polarity is correct there's extra wires in this one because you have a white one for audio which why do you want audio i don't want audio so i would cut that off but when you cut it off you've got to make sure you don't it doesn't short on anything okay. now this blue wire is unique to this type of camera because this is what they call the voltage sensing now this measures the voltage that's connected to this wire and displays it on your goggle view inside the camera. So you get like a little heads up display up here where you can set your name, you could set whatever the timer and, and I think there is, uh, I think it is a timer and the voltage. So when you power this, this up, you can have a timer running. No use to man, no beast. That has to be connected I don't particularly like this but it is very good to have but I don't like the way it's conventionally connected you need to solder this blue wire onto your power distribution board to with the red wires so the red wires be in your XT60 supply so that will take your battery voltage up the blue wire plugged into the camera to give you the actual voltage on your screen like I said there's two if you want that then you need this extra extra large plug if you don't want it then if you're not going to use it then just use the, the the three pin plug like i said cut cut that off and solder that on it so you're cutting the white plug off and you're going to solder that that on it which is a standard servo plug however make sure the colors Conventionally, the white wire would be the signal wire. The red and black is obviously the supply. Same as you've got red and black, the yellow wire is the signal wire, or the video wire in this case. On your video transmitter, you've got red and black, and the yellow is the signal wire. So make sure the plugs in there actually match when, when you plug it in there. Do not get the polarity the wrong way around, because if you put pause to neg and neg to pause, you're gonna have magic smoke and you don't want magic smoke because that costs you money so it's quite simple however you do need to do a bit of soldering so remember there's your power distribution board and you've got a 12 volt supply out i would get your quadcopter built and not worry about the fpv until it is up and running and flying when you're ready to put the fpv in you have your 12 volt plug there ready to go that's going to plug into your vtx all right and there's your camera lead okay vtx feeds the camera so that's that's the simplest way of doing it but like i said when it comes to connecting the camera if you end up with a, a swift or something along this lines you have these plugs are not compatible so you either make your own plugs by using the, the, the bits in here and crimping to make your own lead or you get a servo lead, servo plug, match the pins, you know how to get the pins out. If you don't know how to get the pins out, what you do, you lift the little black tabs, there's little black tabs, lift them up and then when it lifted up the wire will come out that that only goes in one way if they don't fit if they don't go in and they don't fit sometimes you need a little screwdriver a little jeweler screwdriver just to poke them in the last little bit and there should be a little bit of movement 
the yellow wire is going to be the white color it in with a felt pen if you want and black and red are the power supply so then all you have to do is cut cut these wires and join them onto them wires and then you've got a lead, uh, lead ready made up so like i said get your 12 volt plug on your pdp and build the quadcopter leave the fpv to last what they say leave the fpv till the end get the quadcopter built and then do the fpv but before you do plug a battery in you make sure that all the wires there's never a black go into a red and so on check the wires all the way through to the connect camera you don't want to break one of these 37 pound a pop it's easily done you can use this but a heat caution you've got to make sure that this is connected to your your voltage the blue wire will go to the red wire from your xt60 or any of the soldering that's positive to the ESCs, but it's a positive connection from your battery that will give you a battery voltage on your display when you look when whatever the um it is an overlay display don't get confused the white wire is audio do not get confused because i've been saying for you to do do this and i happen to be using a, a lead with a white wire don't get confused and start connecting white wires to white wires because you ain't connecting audio you're connecting video so just stick with the video so that is it basically so check your wires make up your lead but do that after the quadcopter is built and working i hope that makes sense <laughs> okay good luck and i hope that was helpful <laughs> so I'll speak to you soon